Hello everybody and welcome to the first ever Dungeon Team 2v2 Smite Tournament. Over here on Blue Team, we have Brad and Jordan as Thor and Hades going up against the Red Team. Or no, sorry, that's the Red Team actually, I didn't look down there. Red Team of Brad as Thor, Jordan as Hades versus the Blue Team of Medical as Amir and Justin as Nemesis. Now, each team both have one assassin each wasn't in the rules or anything but that's you know, just how they played it uh all of these gods are mastered except for medicals amir his is not mastered we have both of the red team members starting off with sprint which uh comes to beg the question if jordan's playing as uh hades does he really need sprint this early on when they don't have anything of the sort yet Justin going for that physical power and attack speed straight off the bat. Medical going for Watcher's Gift to give, which is a good starting tank item, which will give him more uh, health recovery and mana recovery. As well as when a friendly god kills a lame minion, you get the last his hit bonus as well. He's also going for movement speed, assuming that he'll be going for the power buff. Looks like Justin disconnected. This is expected. We heard it in the call before the game started. He will rejoin soon. Uh, which just means medical be will be by himself for a little while. That's it'll be fine. Shouldn't give them too much of a disadvantage, but it might give the other team enough time to do a little, get a little a, a bit of a push, as in minions. Medical still staying in spawn. Don't know exactly what he's doing. Looks like he's running into a wall, waiting for Justin to get back. Justin has returned. They gotta hurry back out to the field if they wanna prevent these minions from taking their tower. Looks like Brad's going in for the early game tower attack. Oh no, but he falls back to jo Jordan, presumably because the other team has now returned. They might have just been being courteous and not actually going for the kill while one of them was DC'd, waiting for them to return instead. That's very nice, very noble thing to do. There we have Brad already using his whirlwind to attack the minions and try to get Amir, but he missed. Ooh, he uses his hammer throw as well. Both of the red teams are, of course, level 2. It's from that early game minion kills. They were able to get some XP and gold. But, uh, blue team could easily catch up if they can just get the last hit bonuses on a couple red team minions. Medical going for the ice spikes right away. I assume that the red team would go for trying to get Hades ult first so that they could trap blue team into a, into a pull. And then Brad can just kind of attack him and finish him off. Justin's staying safely within tower range while Medical's going out there and getting kills. Looks like they're going to let the minions come to them instead of going out there to the minions where Jordan could easily attack them as well. Looks like they're standing there jumping around. Don't know... They're not even jumping around, sorry. They're standing there not moving. Looks like they've started to move. I wonder if they were doing something outside of the game. Looks like Justin has bought another ability with his level 2 upgrade. They are now all level 2, both teams. Looks like Justin as well went for the Draining Blade, giving him more physical lifesteal and more attack speed. So he's going to go for that attack speed more than physical power. Which could be a huge advantage because people that have a lot of attack speed but are also slow, or that are also low in physical power could do quite a bit of damage, but vice versa could be very difficult to pull off. Looks like both of them going for the minion kills. Uh, Hades actually gets frozen by Medical, but Medical gets stunned by Thor, so... Very nice play by Thor to keep Medical off of his teammate. Looks like everyone's level 3 now. It's a very, very close in terms of level. Very equal. Jordan recalling. This could screw them over if Blue Team actually starts making a big push. Justin. Oh, Medical also recalling. If Justin could go into a 1v1 fight against Brad, he might be able to pull out Victorious. Don't know yet. Brad actually level 4 now from all those minion kills. He might go for a level 5 off them. No, he's actually recalling. Justin could have used this to advantage and actually go after the minion kills. But he's just standing there doing nothing and said, Ooh, Jordan goes out there as well. Going after those minion kills. Jordan will probably get to level 4 off of this. No, he actually doesn't get to level 4, but he's probably very close to level 4. Looks like red team has the better net worth right now. Ooh. Jordan actually taking Justin's health down a significant amount until he's at about one-fourth health. Justin's still holding the line out there while Medical's back in spawn, presumably buying items and upgrading himself. He has actually bought the Breastplate of Valor, giving him more physical protection, which might not help him out very much later in the game, seeing how 
only one of the enemies is physical. So, he'd be very strong going against Brad, but going against Jordan, he'd be... I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't say he'd be underpowered, but he, he'd have the extra health from that buff, but he wouldn't have the protections against the physical power. He's not actually going for the minion skills. Now he's noticed, hey, there's minions here. I'm going to go for the kills. Everybody's now level 4. It'll be a race to see who gets to level 5 first and gets their ult. I assume the team that does that, I think it will probably be red team, because they got that early game lead with the minion kills, and as well... They've been standing out there attacking the minions while the other team's kind of been staying back in the safety of their tower. Yeah, it looks like they're going to go for those minion kills, try to get to level 5, get those ults out there. So that they can dominate in the team fights. Ooh. But they're being careful not to go into a team fight against Justin and uh, Justin Medical. Because they know if that happens, uh, Amir could easily just freeze them. And then Justin would be able to go for the kill on one of them. Oh, he throws up the wall, but doesn't actually go for any sort of big play after trapping Jordan. That could be quite the mistake. Oh, looks like Medical actually now has his ult, ult at the ready, as well as Brad. Brad as well has his ult. Jordan not yet having his ult. Oh, he grabs his ult. Justin's the only one without his ult yet. Nobody having the purification beads. This could be a big mistake because both teams have some degree of crowd control. Amir with his freezing. And Jordan with his ult, as well as Brad with his stuns. Ooh, he pulls Medical in, but Medical uses his ult to actually pull off some big damage hits. Looks like they have the first blood of the game against Medical Demon Justin going for the damage camp, leaving the lane unprotected as they continue their assault. Looks like Justin might get to level 5 off of these kills. No, he doesn't actually. He's going to head back and try to catch the red team while they're attacking the tower. Tower at about half health. This could screw them over severely later on. Justin actually using his ult on Brad, but not going to be able to get the kill from what we're seeing here. The damages are still going on. Looks like there's going to be another DC later on from what I just saw the friend disconnect. Looks like there's going to be another DC from Red Team later on. Due to the three minute delay. Just a heads up so that we know what's going on when that happens. Looks like Medical is upgrading himself. He's getting the... He actually got the breastplate for more physical protection. In a fight against Brad, he'll be very strong, but... Not as much against, uh, against Jordan. He actually, he also has that plus movement speed. He might be able to go for the, uh, because I believe he's magical. Is he? Let's say. Yeah, he's magical. So if he goes for the magical power boots, he'll be quite strong, as well as getting the mana off of him. And the movement speed. He freezes some minions. He was probably going for Brad, but missed the last second. Brad also probably going for him. He and the minions, but missing medical, just barely. Justin the Justin and Jordan both without their ults. Jordan, of course, did DC, as we saw there, but he will get back. Ooh, Brad goes for the attack, but Medical, with all that physical protection, was not affected by it very... He's affected by it very little. Justin coming out there, trying to make it a 2v1. He attacks, Brad retreats. Medical throwing up the wall, just a little short of hitting that Brad. Everybody level 6 now. Brad's probably waiting for his teammate to get back from his disconnect. Brad having the fully upgraded War Ninja Tab I'm sorry. Ninja Tab I with physical power and attack speed and movement speed and cooldown reduction on that. Very good for him right there. And also with the Sprem. Brad could be going for just the speed sort of build. Speed, attack, speed, movement speed. Ooh, looks like blue team is just going to go for a full-on attack of red team's tower. Will they be able to take it down? Brad is back at his spawn, coming back out to go stop them. They're getting it down to half. Going to get it down to one-fourth. Yeah, they got it down to one-fourth. Doesn't look... Oh, they're going to go for the kill. They've taken down the red team's tower. Oh, eight minutes in, the first tower already down. Blue team still having their tower up at about half health. Looks like they're going to go into a Medical versus Brad fight right now. Medical, of course, got stunned by that. Medical using his ult right away. Ooh, hitting Brad. Brad at half health, but he's going to retreat into the safety of the Phoenix. Brad ulting right now. He's going to go for the hit. Ooh, he hits him. Will Medical be able to freeze him? Oh, he freezes him. Could this be Medical's kill? If he throws up the wall. Oh, he throws up the wall. Just misses him. Ooh, that's a shame. Maybe if he chased him into tower range just a little bit, he could have gotten the kill. If ice spikes were only just a little bit more, a little bit less cooldown. Would have been able to grab that kill. Looks like they're going to go for the Phoenix attack now. Go for attacking the Phoenix. 
Jordan's still not back in the game with Brad. Don't know what's going on there. Internet problems, probably. Medical gonna get taken down here by Brad with a 20 second it's, it's respawn time. Gonna take a little bit for him to get back in. Brad being level 8, Justin being level 7. This could be quite the fight. Looks like Justin got the kill. Is he gonna be able to push with the minions? Second wave of minions not out yet. Just spawning. He would have to wait quite a bit of time for those minions to get out here. Justin retreating back to the safety of his minions. Oh, he's actually going to recall. He tried to recall there, but got stopped by the minions. Medical respawn back out there. Brad respawning in a couple seconds. We'll see what happens. Everyone's ult is ready again, except Justin's. We're just going to follow these guys for a little bit. Medical going for those minion kills. Gonna go. Brad coming out of his spawn. Gonna try and stop them from advancing any further than they're already on. Than they already are. Sorry. Medical hanging back at a safe distance. Ooh, Brad uses his ult to go straight into the fight. Whirlwinds, but gets stopped by the ult. Or gets stopped by the freeze from Medical. Ooh, Jordan back in the game. This will be a very interesting fight. I'll be completely honest. I was on Skype asking if he couldn't get back in. So that, uh. See if we're gonna have to redo this match, but it looks like this match will be completely legit. Brad going for the hammer throw again. Ooh, this gonna be quite the fight. Justin going in, gonna go attack him. Will he be able to get the kill? Ooh, he grabs the kill off of Brad. Now Medical and Justin will be able to advance with their minions. Probably take out that Phoenix. Go for an early game Phoenix takeout. Looks like this game could be wrapped up fairly quickly if they take that Phoenix out. Jordan coming out there. Will he be able to pull off an ult pull? He pulls them into his ult, the Phoenix attacking Justin, Justin pulling away just in time. Ooh, Medical being attacked, it looks like Medical is taken out by Jordan, Jordan getting that experience that will really help him since he got DC'd earlier in the game. Justin of course falling back so that he doesn't die, leaving them with a D aside. The team's 7-9 on the uh, red team, but if Jordan keeps plays like he just did, that won't be a very big issue for them. Brad, of course, advancing again, going for the minion kills. Gonna take him out. He's now level 10. He's the highest level in the game right now, giving Red Team a more... I wouldn't... Red Team would have a significant advantage if Jordan wasn't under-leveled due to that disconnect that he experienced earlier. That's very unfortunate by him. Jordan going for a lot of magic power, which could help him a lot, seeing how nobody really has any phys magical defense. Medical going for that physical protection instead of magical protection. This could be quite the fight if Jordan gets involved. That ult of his will do quite a bit of damage against him. Looks like, oh, it looks like he wanted to ult, but his ult wasn't ready yet. Meaning that to be not quite a successful soul jump or whatever that move's called. To be completely honest, I don't know. Brad going for that hammer throw along that lane of minions. Brad ulting. Medical trying to take Jordan out using his ult. Ooh, Jordan just barely escapes it, but he gets into Justin. Justin takes out... Takes out Jordan. Now Justin is going into a fight against Brad. Will he be able to take out Brad? Go for a DSI. No, Brad actually escapes in the tower range. But now Justin and, Br Justin and Medical will advance against these minions. Try to take out that Phoenix once and for all. They have that Phoenix down quite quite severely. If they can go for a, a kill with these three minions, they can take out that Phoenix. Medical, of course, hesitant to go under it. Looks like Medical missed his opportunity. He doesn't go for the Phoenix kill. But he has these new minions. We'll be able to go for a, quite a big push. If he takes those minions out, they'll give them some strong minions. Ooh, looks like Medical's gonna fall back, try to regroup with Justin. Justin and their new lane of minions. Of course, uh, Red Team fully respawned with Jordan level 7, Brad level 10. But Justin is level 11 with Medical at level 10. Ooh, this is gonna be quite the fight. Jordan under leveled, this could lead to them losing the game due to just to that. Oh, he pulls... He actually pulls Justin in, but will, he will die from that endeavor. Looks like, though, Brad pulls off the kill like a good teammate. Takes out Justin after he takes out Jordan. Jordan of now level 8. Both the blue teams, though, at level 11. Brad going back into the fight. This could hurt him actually quite severely if he goes for the kill. Yeah. If Medical actually acted on that, he could have gotten a DSide and pushed quite hard. Ooh, but looks like both the red teams are back up and running. Jordan buying some items and spawn buying some more mana and more physical protection to defend against Justin. We have Medical here killing the minions, trying to get himself some more XP, get himself some more gold. He can buy some new stuff. 
And of course, keep that lead that they have going. Looks like Justin's actually going to come up and back medical up. Join Jordan going out into the fight alone. This could lead to his death again against these two. Seeing how his teammate isn't actually there to help him out. If Justin goes into a 1v1 fight against Jordan... Ooh, this, this is probably Jordan's death right here. Unless Brad can stop him in time. Yep, he stops Justin right in time, allowing Jordan enough time to escape. Ooh, Brad going against Justin. If Brad can pull off another stun... Ooh, looks like he's not going to risk it. He is not going to risk that fight. Ooh, but now that Justin has stopped to fight the minions, Brad's also going to get involved. Whirlwinding the enemy minions and Justin. Justin retreating back into the safety of tower range. Going actually right on the edge. Ooh, Brad stuns him but doesn't act on it at all. Medical out there now. Now it's a 2v1. Jordan trying to quickly catch up. Justin actually recalling going back to the shop. Don't actually know what could occur here. Ooh, looks like he... Looks like Jordan's going to go for the ult. Yeah, going for the ult. Brad going into the air. Hitting with his ult. This is probably Medical's death right here, everybody. Is he dead? Yep, Medical is now dead. Red team gaining an advantage. Jordan, of course, getting those sweet, sweet levels to get back up to uh, to Brad's level. Brad level 13, highest level in the game. Blue team's level 12 and 12. Looks like this could be quite the fight next time they get into a big team fight. Right now, um, the... Red team is doing a good job not getting themselves isolated to get killed. If we now look at the scores, Justin, of course, with four kills and one death. Medical with zero kills and four deaths, but with two assists because, of course, Guardians. But the other team with two deaths each, looking like they're they're trying to keep their um, keep themselves from getting isolated. Because they know if they get isolated, they'll be taken down quite easily by both the other team members. But Justin and Medical not really working as a team here. Getting themselves isolated and then taken out by the other team's amazing teamwork. Quite the team they have going over on Red Team. An assassin and a supporting character as Hades, a guardian. While Amir is a guardian such as like a tank, uh, he's more of a tank while Hades is more of a go and grab him so that the other, the other um, teammates can go and take him out while he's grabbing him. I've seen many times when Hades is used in games to uh, actually help the teammates escape by pulling in the enemy teammate, the enemy, the enemies, and just grabbing them, pulling them close, and then they don't get taken out. So, Hades, of course, good for that. While Amir is usually used as a tank, I haven't really seen him used as anything other than a tank. If Medical can figure out how to use it, ooh, ooh, they go straight into the Hades pull. Looks like Jordan actually is going to be taken out here by Medical's ult, but they actually take out Justin as well, with putting Brad on a killing spree with four kills, two deaths. Oh, looks like he's actually going to try and take out Brad. No, looks like he lets Brad escape, misses that wall hit. If that wall went right behind Brad, he could have stopped him. If he can freeze Brad, he hits him with the ice, will he be able to freeze him? Yep, he freezes him, takes him out, decide for the red team. Jordan, of course, respawning soon, but as he's under-leveled, it could be very hard for him to get into a fight against Medical. However, Medical having only physical protection, no med no magical protection yet. But he has a lot of magical power, so he could push through quite nicely. Got a good bit of cooldown reduction as well. Ooh, he freezes the minions. Don't know if I would have used the freeze for that. Would have waited until Jordan's out there to freeze him and go for the kill. Jordan trying to stop the advance by Medical. Looks like Jordan also going for a lot of magical power. It's going to be magic versus magic. Neither of them really having any magical protection. Which could be bad. Ooh, looks like Medical pops a heal off of his healing healing potion. Medical actually has a blink. So if he can use that blink correctly, he can do quite some serious damage. Justin with the purification beads. The improved purification, I believe. Yes, with a 135 second cooldown. This can get him out of Jordan's ult. However, it will be quite dangerous to use it when it's not greater purification because greater purification of course having only a minute and a half is cooldown that having two minutes five seconds is cooldown so you know quite a quite a big gap between those two cooldowns so if Justin can hurry up and try to get that greater purification that could give him quite the advantage if medical realizes this and grabs purification beads it'd be even better looks like the teammate by the the team work by the blue team is not quite going as well as they might have hoped. Ooh, Justin taking out Brad early. 
Ooh, going for another hit. Ooh, they get a Dia side against the red team. This could be game right here, ladies and gentlemen. Medical, of course, going in, taking some hits by the Phoenix. Will they be able to take the Phoenix down? Looks like Medical is going to take the brunt of the hits to take that Phoenix down right here, right now. Yeah, about 20 seconds until red team respawns. Medical falling back before he gets too low. Justin's sitting there attacking the Phoenix. Looks like Justin... Ooh, they actually take out the Phoenix, getting themselves the stronger minions. Both of them are retreating now to heal themselves back up. That was very good teamwork by them, taking some extra hits by the Phoenix. Medical, the tank, taking the most. Now they have quite the advantage. If they do one big push against red team, or if, if, yeah, if blue team does one big push against red team, they will be able to take out that Titan and get themselves the winner, make themselves the winners of match one of this tournament. Ooh, looks like red team is intended to not let that happen, and they're going to attack those minions before they can get up to where the Phoenix used to be. The fire minions, of course, being more powerful than the old minions, but since both of these guys are basically ranged, except for Thor's basic attack, they are able to hold the minions back without having too much damage to them. If the minions get into a fight, of course, blue team minions will win, seeing how they are the stronger minions. If they get into a team fight, the only protection they will have is the Titan, which will lead into blue team being able to attack their Titan quite severely. Ooh. Justin actually using his dash to escape. Ooh, Medical going into the ult. Takes out Jordan. Ooh, Brad getting taken down right here. This is a DSI. Looks like this game is decided right here, right now. If they go for an attack against the Titan, this is it for Red Team. Don't know exactly what they're doing. They're standing outside finish. It looks like they're waiting for minions. I wouldn't do that. I'd go in there and start getting some early hits against the Phoenix. Or against the Titan. Gonna have to fight their way through the second wave of minions that are spawning. They should really just ignore the minions, go straight for the attack. Ooh, because blue red team is about to respawn. Jordan respawning right now. I'm gonna go and try to attack him, take him down. The Phoenix at about three fourths of its health. Medical trying to escape there before he dies. Sets up a wall so the Titan can't actually chase them. Looks like if they just attacked sooner, they could have taken down that Titan. Justin actually recalling. I don't think he really needed to recall there. He was pretty full on health and mana. Medical was really the one that needed to do that. If Justin stayed out there, he could have kept their lead. Kept those minions from advancing. Looks like both of them decided to go back to the spawn. Don't think the teamwork from blue team is amazing, but they are upgrading themselves quite well and they know how each other how to work with each other, but they're not really coordinating their attacks well together. Justin seems to understand that Medical can take quite the brunt of the hits and is quite fine letting him do that while he goes in and just assists and trying to stab him and get the kills. Justin, of course, keeping those minions back, keeping them from getting a lead. They need to attack before the Phoenix respawns because if that Phoenix respawns, that'll be trouble for them. He ults Brad. Brad going into the whirlwind so Justin can't advance. Justin actually not getting caught up in Jordan's ult. Jordan's ult completely wasted, not getting anybody in it, not even minions. Jordan going for those minion hits, trying to keep him from attacking again. Red Team's Phoenix has respawned. They missed their opportunity to take out the Titan. Don't know exactly what their plan was there. If they can go and just get a couple hits out on that Phoenix, then it'll be taken down again. Looks like they will get just that opportunity. Those minions advancing right now, going to go help him attack. Ooh, Jordan going after those minion hits. Those minions responding. Looks like Brad could actually die here. No, Medical misses the freeze. He doesn't actually try for... Ooh, he hits with the freeze that time, but he doesn't hit Brad. Brad not getting caught up in it. This could be quite the interesting fight. Both of the blue teams being level 17. They're pretty evenly matched in terms of strike. Using his freeze on just three minions. Don't know if I would have done that. Wasted his 2 and 3 ability on those minions. Blue team minions going in for the attack now. If they could just... If blue team only advances... Like, now that Phoenix is going to be up at about half health. They're missing their opportunity to take it down early. Looks like they're playing it overly cautiously. Looks like Medical could actually be taken down here. Whenever... Ooh, he gets taken down. Whenever Medical gets caught up in Jordan's ult, it seems like he goes straight into his ult himself. But he does it a little bit too late. I wonder if it's just from ult respawn time or whatever. But that caused him to go to his death right there. 
looks like they're going to miss the opportunity to take the Phoenix down early in just a couple hits. Uh, red team getting that momentum back. If only blue team pushed that Phoenix or pushed that Titan a little harder when they had the chance, they might have been able to take the take the game. Ah, uh, blue team going for those. Blue team hiding back in spawn as well as red team. Justin actually going out there trying to take out some of those minions. Medical still dead. I have to wait for that respawn time on him. Brad Alt only is able to hit a couple minions. Justin in the safety of tower range. Is he gonna? Is he gonna recall though? Looks like he started to recall and then canceled it halfway through. I think he's recalling way too much. He recalls when he really doesn't need to. That could cost him the game right there. Medical back out there now too. Going to go for that those minion hits. Going to go try to kill them. Ooh, and blue team takes out red team's minions. Justin advancing. Looks like he notices that medical is not coming, so he falls back again. Medical staying safely within tower range. Justin recalling. Hmm. Now it's red team versus just medical. They could pull off another kill here. Jordan with his ult again. If he pulls off the ult against medical, that could be it for him. Medical using those ice spikes. The minions going straight for the tower. Tower, of course, being at about half health. Minions themselves won't be enough to take them out, really. But they will do some slight damage. And take Medical's time and effort to try and kill him. Alright, Medical's now level 18. Jordan level 15. He's catching up quite quickly. But... Ooh, he pulls them both in. Medical ulting. Medical doesn't seem to know he can cancel that ult early. Uh, and be able to just do less damage, but still be able to uh, do some some damage. Looks like Justin's actually going to try to take him out. Ooh, but he cancels halfway through. Probably smart, that Phoenix probably would have killed him. Justin recalling again! Man, this guy is just overly recalling. He's, at a, he's still at green health, and he's still just recalling. I think he recalls when he really doesn't need to. They could do quite a big push here, seeing how Amir has... Let's check his health... He has about 3,000 health. Could have taken quite the brunt of the hits for that Phoenix to get taken down. Brad having around only 1,800 health. Jordan having around 2,000 health. Brad is the lowest in health as of right now. Can he pull off a freeze against Brad? Mm, looks like Medical is dead again. Will Red Team use this to their advantage to push? Looks like this game is going to go on for quite a while. Going on the going on about the 27 minute mark, 26 and a half, almost 27. Justin, of course, he pulls back when the going gets rough. This isn't gonna be good if they get into big team fights. Justin, of course, hanging back because he he's overly cautious. Being overly cautious in this game could cost him, because it's okay to be cautious, but if you're overly cautious, you miss some good hits, good chances to take the. Take the opportunity to go for the kill. Justin, like, running away every chance he gets. Brad trying to take him down. If Justin recalls again, they are going to go for that kill. They are going to go for that tower kill. Take the tower down. Looks like he gets affected by the fear effect from Jordan. Oh, he's about to die, so he's going to go back. If he recalls one more time, they will probably push the tower and take it down. Is Justin going to recall? Looks like he knows. Oh, no, he is recalling. Good. Red team will be able to use this. Oh, he's only recalling because Medical is out there to go defend. Medical goes into a fight against Jordan, though. It'll be quite interesting seeing how Medical doesn't really have any magical protection to speak of. Medical, of course, also being overly cautious. Just not being the only one. This could cost blue team the win. Their overly cautious attitude. Red team, of course, will go for the kill. Ooh, this could be quite interesting. Brad going for those hits against Justin. Justin ulting. Ooh, looks like they're going to take out Brad. Brad is down. Uh, Jordan coming up behind him. Going to try and go for his ult. Yep, he pulls Justin into his ult. Justin using his purification beats to break away. Looks like Jordan did not expect that at all. And Jordan is caught off guard. Going to try and defend against those Phoenix attacks. Justin recalling. Missing that opportunity for a big team push. Medical going to go in with his minions. No, he's actually hanging back outside of Phoenix range. 
Ooh, their Phoenix almost back up to full health. They're gonna miss the win. Blue team is gonna miss the win unless they start losing some of that cautious attitude. Sometimes you just gotta go into the Phoenix and take some hits. I will admit, going into the Phoenix there might have not been the best thing, but if he froze him, if he froze him, he might have been able to get that kill. Jordan's still without his ult. His ult not back up yet. Justin coming in to come help medical out. Brad, of course, now respawned, has his ult back too. Blue team again missing another opportunity for a great team push because of excessive recall and overly cautious gameplay. This game is going on the half hour mark. Looks like Medical is going to go in for those minion kills. Took him down. Giving Blue Team a chance to push with their minions. If they take it, this could be quite severe. Jordan having his ult ready. He's going to try and freeze him. Ooh, he grabs him. And now Medical is going to ult. Ooh! Looks like he just got taken down. He didn't use his ult at the last second. Ooh. Ooh. That probably costed him. Could have probably taken out one of them before they actually killed him. I don't think he knows about the being able to use the ult early, finish it off early for less damage. If he only did that, that would have probably saved his life. Ooh, this could hurt them severely. Justin going up for a physical power buff and then another elixir of power. Ooh, this is going to be quite the fight if he pops both of those before their next team fight. Both teams look like they're waiting on their teammate to spawn before doing any big pushes. Justin, I think, is going for the... Yep, he went for the speed camp. Grabs the speed buff. Grabbing the speed buff. Gonna go attack some of those minions. Take him down. He actually... I think he already has an elixir of power. Or an elixir... A potion of physical might. Giving him more physical power. But I think he's getting ready to pop that... That elixir of power. And the potion of physical might. Again. Since you can use those as much as you like. And give yourself quite a significant advantage. But they... Uh, go away when you die. Blue team both at level 20, red team at 19 and 17. Big team fight could decide who wins this. Ooh, is Jordan going to go for the pull? Oh, looks like Brad is taken down. Will they be able... Oh, medical hanging back safely. If only he pushed, he would have been able to take Hades out. Oh, I feel bad for blue team. They just don't understand. It looks like Medical is going to cost them the game if they can't just take out Hades. Medical is not really getting into these fights. He's being way too cautious. Ooh. Justin taking some hits from the Phoenix. Throwing up the wall. Not really helping him out at all. They're being way too cautious. It's making me angry. They're being way overly cautious. Just not going for those kills. Sometimes you gotta risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. Here comes another wave of blue team minions, but Brad about to respawn. I think they've lost their chance for a really big push. They, again, they don't follow their minions into Phoenix range. This is gonna cost them the game. If red team can get a DS side, red team's basically, like... Take in their push and just spat in it. Looks like Medical might be taken out again. Oh, or he might get a kill. Oh, yep, Medical's dead. And Justin's dead. Time for a big red team push. Finally, finally, what we've been waiting for. Blue team down for about a minute each. Jordan down for about 45 seconds. Brad, if he can push with these minions, he can get that, fe that, get that tower down. And probably get the Phoenix down as well. Got about 40 seconds left for a big push by Brad. It's going to be quite severe to Red Team's success. If Red Team can pull off this tower kill, they have basically retaken the game. Go in there with the minions. Yes, he went in there with the minions. Going to take down that tower. Tower at one-fourth of its health. Tower down. Going to go for the Phoenix hit now. Taking down those Blue Team minions. Of course, both of the Blue Team players down for another about 20 seconds. If Brad can pull this off, he will be a legend. Gonna go for the Phoenix hit. Will he be able to take it down out in time? It's at about half. At about one-fourth. Phoenix is down. Blue, blue team has lost their lead. Red team retaking it. 
Jordan, of course, back alive. Gonna come help Brad out. Brad's retreating, going to go regain some health. Ooh. See, this is all because blue team didn't go for those... They didn't follow the line of minions inside. Allowing them to kind of... Because Medical, of course, having a lot of health, he could have frozen Jordan, taken the hits. They could have taken out Jordan. And then retreated out of Phoenix right and gone back in. Been able to take the Phoenix out. But they're playing way too cautiously. They're not going to be able to, to go for the win then. Ooh. Going back for that kill again with that stream strategy. Michael doesn't seem to understand. Ooh, they actually take out Jordan. Will they be able to retake the lead? Ooh. They actually go for a DSI this time. Will they be able to take out that Phoenix? Both of the other team players dead for about a minute. Medical recalling. Ooh, this is going to cost him. Just Justin being there. He won't be able to take out the Titan by himself. If he waits again for another round of minions, this is going to be very upsetting. Oh, it looks like they're going to take down the Phoenix as well. Phoenix at about half. One-fourth. Phoenix is dead. Okay. Now they just need to take out the red team minions. Medical needs to come help out. Blue team minions following with Medical. Looks like they could go for the win here if Justin just takes a little bit of a rest. No, he goes to regroup. Ugh. This is going to cost him the game here again. Because Justin waits around for the minions. If he just went and did some early damage to the Titan. They're going for the minions again. Uh, this is going to cost him. This is going to cost him so badly. Oh, they're going for the Titan. Good. Go on, take it out. Titan's at about three-fourths. Justin escaping. Medical not going to be able to get that kill. Oh, Medical dead. Justin trying to recall again. Come on, man. You don't do that. Ugh. Trying to recall instead of help his friend out. Man. <sighs> Looks like red team has completely destroyed blue team's lead. Red team gonna push again. I think it's their incompetence. Blue team's incompetence is gonna cost them the game. They don't understand. They gotta seize the opportunity. If Justin went for that early Titan attack, he could have taken some hits by the Titan and done some pretty severe damage because you can use abilities on the Titan. Ah. Oh. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, I hope they can learn better in the second match because this is just painful to watch at this point. Oh, he takes out Brad, but will he be able to take out Jordan? Doesn't look like it. Actually, maybe. Oh, Jordan pulling him in, of course, but he escapes. Looks like he will be able to take out Jordan, actually. Nope, Jordan retreats. Oh, will he take him out still? No. Gonna go take out those minions and then go for the Titan kill. It's getting painful to watch because it's just the incompetence. I want to just yell out and say, hey, you got to actually fight. You got to take some risks and go in for the kill. Jordan going into the jungle. This could be quite severe. Justin waiting for... Justin recalling! Come on, man! Why would you recall? You have such a great opportunity here. Oh, my God. Oh my god, this is painful. Medical, go for the kill. The Phoenix is dead. Go for the Titan kill. Come on, please. Please go for the Titan kill. Come on, man. Take it out. Take Brad out. Just do it. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Medical, come on. Oh, Brad's gonna kill him. Red Team's middle Phoenix is back. Ugh. They missed another great opportunity because Justin didn't go with them! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Man, both of these teams. I mean, Red Team's fine. Red Team's actually doing okay with what they're doing. Justin and Medical, man. Ah! Oh! Either one of them goes or the other goes. They could have won the game right there. But Justin went incompetent and went for a camp instead. <sighs> yeah, and now Brad's gonna go for the ult. Justin's gonna try and take him out. Looks like Justin's actually gonna die here. No, he's gonna retreat. 
Brad, take out those min. Ah, he's not gonna take out the minions either. Brad's gonna retreat. Nobody in this game is willing to take a little bit of a risk to get the win. Blue Team's Phoenix is almost dead, but Blue Team also has a full health Titan. Red Team's Titan is about half health, and their Phoenix is about half health. So Red Team, yeah, it's about even, actually. Minions are fighting at mid. If only someone would take a little bit of risk. If Red Team, I fully believe, if Red Team takes out that Phoenix, Red Team will win. The only reason they didn't before was because Brad didn't have a lot of time to work with. He had to get the push all the way back over there. Ooh, Justin going for those hits and then he retreats. This team fight could get very interesting. Jordan, of course, has his ult ready. Gonna wait. Michael missing everybody was his ult. Ooh, Justin takes out Brad. Ooh, and Jordan looks like he's gonna... Ooh, he misses take out. Will they be able to take out Jordan? They gotta take a risk. Justin, you gotta take a risk. He's not gonna take a risk. He plays way too cautiously. He's gonna lose due to it. Take him out, Justin. Come on. No. No. No, he's not gonna. Throws down the wall. I'm hating blue team's incompetence. Hating it. I'm hating it. They need to take risks. That's all they need to do. If they take risks, they can win. But they're not. They play way too cautiously. We're 40 minutes into the game. Both teams have their Phoenix. And there's been several opportunities to win that have been missed. Red team has their Phoenix at half health and they're Titan at full health now. Titans re do regenerate faster than the Phoenix. But still. It's just like, come on. Come on, blue team. You gotta do a big push and take the risks. You gotta go, you gotta damage the Titan, and if they respawn and the Titan's at half health, you kill the Titan. Looks like Brad's actually gonna go for a hit with his ult. He actually just gets to hit minions, because they are both too far back to get hit. Jordan has his ult ready again. Looks like this could get interesting in this fight. Ooh, they're both hanging back, as they always do. Ooh, he pulls Medical in. Medical with no purification. Well, he does have purification. No, he actually doesn't. He just does blink. They take out Medical. If they take out Justin, they went. Mm. Justin, playing way too cautiously, doesn't go for that Brad kill. Even though he's almost full health. Justin running away again. They can get the kill. They can get the win if they go and take a risk and go for the Phoenix. Oh, he just misses. Just misses that Justin hit. Jordan, you gotta push with the... Looks like he's going into the jungle. Uh -huh. If he pushes with the minions, then he's doing the right thing. He needs to regroup with Brad and take out Justin. And then Justin will be... It, it will basically be blue team's victory, but they're not gonna. Oh, well, looks like they're gonna go for the kill. Justin running away again. Oh, Justin goes back in, and then runs away. Hmm. Um, let's see. They're just waiting there. Justin recalling when he's right next to his spawn. Oh, looks like they're going to push the Phoenix. No, Justin's going to try and stop him, I think. No, no, they're not. Will they take out the Phoenix? They might- Brad, you gotta go for the- Brad! Ugh! If Brad went for the Phoenix, the Phoenix would be dead. But he didn't. Brad's all like, no, I'm gonna go help Jordan, but Jordan's dead. Oh. He takes out Justin, but goddamn, did he have to sacrifice something. Medical, again, not using that old early. I don't think he knows how to do it. This is painful to watch. This is just painful. All right. Okay. Brad going for those minion kills. Gonna go back, take out the minions again. Trying to push with his minions. Medical gonna go in and try to kill Brad. No, actually, Medical doesn't try to kill Brad. Goes for those minions. I think he's gonna go and try to freeze Brad. 
They're lagging around slightly. I do this match going on for so long. It really didn't have to. Really could have been finished a lot sooner. But blue team's not taking risks. And evidently Brad is just not... Not the player I thought he was. Thought he would have known to... Come on, Brad, hit him with one of the ranged abilities. Using his sprint. Going for the kill. Yes, he takes him out. Good. Will he be able to go take out the Phoenix? He doesn't go to take out the Phoenix. Damn it. All right. Well, Justin has respawned, but now it's a 1v2 again. Medical is dead for a minute. Justin trying to take out those minions. Justin going to go to mid, where Jordan is retreating. It's getting very repetitive because neither team is willing to just take that extra mile, take that extra risk. Justin, using his purification beads, gets stunned by Brad right after. It's trying to escape his damnedest. If they take out that Phoenix, they can win the game. If they take out the Phoenix, they can win. Red Team Man is coming in to help. Jordan trying to hit. Justin while he's still in tower range. He stuns him. Oh, go for the kill. No. Uh, go for the tower. Go for the Phoenix kill. Good. They know how to take risks. Jordan, come on, man. Oh, they take him out. Good. Come on. Take out the Phoenix. Oh, they take out the Phoenix. They got to push it now. Jordan knows. Jordan knows he's got to push it. Brad, not so much. Oh, they're going. They're going. Brad gonna try and ult the Titan. What's gonna happen here? Ooh. Titan is about three fourths of health. About halfway dead. Come on, you gotta take out the Titan. Jordan could be the one that takes him out. Titan at about half health again. Brad's gotta go in for it. Ooh, Jordan gets taken out. Come on, Brad. Titan at about one fourth of its health. Come on in, Brad. Pull Brad pulls off the kill. Red team winning game one. Ooh, quite the ambitious fight that happened there. They both went in for the kill. Jordan dies, but Brad picks up the slack. Ooh, red team with one win. Blue team with zero. If blue team just took those risks, he could have won it. Oh, well. Well, thank you all for watching match one. See you again for match two. Goodbye.